Fiber optic solutions are gaining popularity over traditional copper options in many datacom applications because fiber has significantly larger bandwidth, is unaffected by noise and voltage surges, and can be run at greater distances and at much higher density than copper. Fiber optic connectors come in many styles. Here we have pictured an ST connector. Be careful when handling raw fiber. It is important to wear glasses to protect your eyes from the glass core of the fiber optic cabling. The ends of the connectors must be polished and should never be touched. Here is one example of a fiber optic enclosure. This one has an option for a lock at the lower right. Open the enclosure by pulling the latch. This one also has an internal security door where the cable is stored. Unlock it and pull it away and you'll see the center management spool. This ensures that the cable maintains a proper bend radius. Here we see that adapter panels have already been installed in this enclosure. This is another example of a more economical enclosure that we have. It also has a center cable management spool. This one has room for two adapter panels, which are not installed at this time. There are many cable access entry points on this unit. They are filled with rubber grommets. To remove these grommets, simply push from the inside and they pop out. Through this point, you will run your cable. To store your cable, run your excess slack through the grommet and carefully wind around the center spool. After your fiber optic lines are terminated by a certified technician, you're ready to install your adapter panels. This adapter panel has six ST adapters installed by simply placing in the open slot and pushing down on the push pins. Remove the rubber adapter covers from the panel and remove the connector covers from your lines. Then plug the connectors into your adapters and connect the corresponding lines. We also offer rack mounted enclosures. This one occupies one rack unit. We're also going to demonstrate how to install a universal splice tray in this unit. To open, simply turn the knob on the right hand side and pull out the tray. As you can see, we have used blank adapter panels just to make the rack unit look tidy. Slide out the tray. Here's a universal splice tray. Of course, you're going to need a certified technician to make and install these splices. After that's done, you simply set the tray in the enclosure. It's always important to attach it with some kind of cable management. Here we're using Velcro just to keep the tray stable. And when you're finished, simply slide the tray back and turn the screw and you have safely and securely stored your fiber optic cabling.